hello friends welcome on my channel so today we are starting on the algorithm okay what is an algorithm the definition of the algorithm and the properties of the algorithm okay so we are uh, discuss on the algorithm so let's start on the algorithm definition okay so what is the algo okay so i am writing the algorithm definition first okay uh, so algorithm it is a combination combination of sequence of finite step uh, to solve a problems okay what is this so algorithm is a combination of sequence that means if you go any others uh, books okay so that number of books have the number of the uh, definition of the algorithm so it is a combination of sequence of finite step what is a finite that means limited okay that means one two three four which have, uh, we have to count it okay so these are the finite set okay to solve a problem because the algorithm we are written that uh, any algorithm to solve a problem okay and the combination of sequence okay that means if you write any uh, steps on that uh, algorithm so every step going on a sequence okay so that's why uh, it is a combination of the sequence so this is the definition of the algorithm okay so suppose i am taking any example for the algorithm so let's take an example okay so suppose you write that uh, an algorithm to add the some numbers okay so i am writing the algorithm for the adding three numbers okay so what is the step of the algorithm okay so first step is to take three numbers okay uh, if you start on the algorithm so first you need the three numbers which you want to add so suppose you have to take the three number a b and c this is the step one okay so what is the next step so if you want to the add the three numbers so now the second step is add that three numbers and hold the answer in other variable that i will call the d okay you can uh, put any uh, any other variable so i am putting here the answer is d so what is the step to step to is the add three numbers okay and hold that the answer in a d okay so this is the other two step and what is the third step so the third step is simple print answer that means c uh, d sorry my mistake so print d so these are the step of the algorithm you, uh, you want to the add three numbers okay so this is the example of the algorithm uh, write the sequence of the combination that means combination of sequence okay first you take the three numbers then you add the three numbers and you uh, hold that the answer on a d and after that you print on the d uh, so if i am talking about the combination of sequence that means you do not write that step 3 okay above the step 2 because if you write that so you don't have the d and uh, you don't have the answer and you want to the print so what is the uh, logic so that's why the uh, algorithm the combination of the sequence okay finite st uh, uh, step is that means uh, you write that finite if you writing that infinite step so what is the means okay so you have just writing 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 and uh, doesn't uh, uh, give that output so that's why it's called the finite step okay and the to solve a problem so on a algorithm if you write any algorithm so this is means uh, you have to produce uh, at least one output okay if you not produce any one output so it doesn't mean to write any algorithm okay yeah, this is the example of the algorithm and the, this is the definition of the algorithm now we are going to the properties properties of the algorithm so i have explaining these step and explaining the definition of the uh, algorithm so now you will very uh, familiar with the properties also when we, uh, i have going to the explain to you okay so first property if i am talking about it may take 
input or not what it does mean okay so here i have to the write the uh, three or uh, add the three numbers so i need uh, three numbers okay if i have the algorithm okay and that algorithm need to print that uh, uh, triangle that need to print at the hi and the uh, greetings okay so uh, that uh, uh, algorithm doesn't not uh, need any input okay you just step one going to the step one and write print hello so this algorithm just to uh, uh, showing that greeting okay if you want to the uh, greeting with the program so you just uh, write the print hello okay so this does not need any input like here okay so that's why the property of the algorithm is it may take input or not okay mm -hmm. Ye, uh, input uh, le bhi sakte ho, ne bhi. okay so let's going on our next what is that it should terminated okay within a finite time what is that mean if you write the finite step okay and you put on the any loop which is not uh, never going to be ended so it's not be a algorithm okay because the algorithm algorithm needs the terminated within the finite time suppose if you write any while loop okay and putting on the one and uh, print here the hello okay this is the uh, example verify that you your uh, loop should be terminated okay that's why it should not terminate it within a finite time okay so the third property is it should at least one output if your algorithm no, not going to the uh, produce any output okay so what is the uh, what is the means of you have written on for uh, algorithm for that okay so that's why every algorithm needs at least one output okay so guys these are the properties of the algorithm okay now uh, we have to going to uh, design an algorithm how we can design an algorithm so i will explain you how you can uh, uh, design your algorithm okay so step by step i am showing you okay so what is the heading so heading is the design algorithm okay so what is the design or algorithm so first you need step one i am changing the color to more clear okay so what is the problem if you design any algorithm so first thing you need to do the clarity okay what is the clarity clarity of the problem if you doesn't know about the uh, what is the problem and what uh, you want to go for in the any algorithm okay so that need to first step is to know what is the problem okay and how you can go to uh, solve that problem so first you need to the problem what is the problem okay or a problem statement okay so what is the second step if you know about your problem okay so second step is going to just uh, design technique what is the design technique the all design technique which we uh, we, we will uh, cover in this uh, course okay like uh, if you're talking about the uh, divide and conquer okay and uh, if you're talking about the dynamic programming okay and many more uh, are there like a uh, uh, greedy technique okay these algorithm which uh, which algorithm you want to uh, uh, take from this uh, particular uh, problem so second step is going to take any design technique which will help to solve your problem okay so uh, this is the second step and the what is the next third step so let's go for the step third okay so next step is 
flow chart what is a flow chart the flow chart is showing that your problem with how your algorithm going to explain okay uh, on a, with the help of the chart okay so what is the chart i will explain in a future what is the flow chart if you don't know so please comment on me so i will take a separate video for the flow chart okay so the next is thing i have to tell you the step 4 so what is the step 4 so the step 4 verification to the step 1 what does that mean that means is you have to the verify all that things okay from the step 1 to step 3 okay and testing it is correct or not so this is the verification okay so on a uh, step 4 you have to do the verification okay so now let's go on a step 5 you have verify your uh, design pattern and you have verify your flow chart that all the things has going very well okay so the uh, after that what you uh, going on you going on the coding what that means the implementation okay whatever you have uh, uh, documented okay with the design technique flow chart and the uh, uh, determine the problem okay after that you have to the verify the testing and now you are going on a coding this is the step okay so you are going on a coding so let's on a final step what is the final step so so final step is 6 so let me take that color the final step if you have write and coding after that you have uh, completed the your code okay so you need to the analysis what is the analysis the analysis have com- covered the two points in the time and the space okay the time means you have cpu okay and the space means your hard disk and you have written any code and which is compatible with your system which have the sufficient cpu power and the sufficient the memory so which is the analysis okay so guys this is the uh, all i have done today okay so ne- in our next video i am talking about the analysis and the, in the analysis i am going for the time complexity and the space complexity to explain the theoretical part of that uh, how we can find out that uh, complexity and what is the complexity and why we are doing an analysis so i will discuss on the next lecture for that okay so okay guys take care